Hi everyone, I wanted to show you my altar setup for Earth Day. Um, today is Earth Day and it's time to celebrate obviously the Earth, the planet um, and all the life it gives us and also to spread awareness that we need to protect the planet and do what we can. Um, I have a Gaia goddess statue and obviously Gaia is the goddess that represents earth and i wanted to make her the focal point of my altar setup for earth day obviously um and also because obviously this time of year um it's coming up to beltane so um we're talking about like you know the earth is fertile there's lots of things growing um there's lots of baby animals there's lots of new crops growing and so Gaia will fit in with um, Beltane as well. So I've done my altar space so that it will fit in with both times. So it'll fit in with Earth Day, but also will fit in with Beltane on the 1st of May. Um, sorry about the lighting. Um, I put my light in a funny position at this point, so it looks a bit misty. Um, but you'll see in a bit, I'll move it and it, it works out better. I'd actually got the light was pointing slightly away from the altar space, which is why it looks a bit weird. But you'll see, I'll fix that shortly. So I cleared off some of the stuff out of the way and I wanted to put this uh, rose um, garland around um, to make, make it look a bit more special, to link it in with the season and just to really make Gaia the focal point of the altar space. I did have to stick a rose back on because I, I have done it before where I've took roses off, put them back on. Um, it's one advantage with this garland thing is the fact that you can do that. Um, but the one just popped off as I was manoeuvring the garland. And I've just made it so it goes around the base of um, Gaia's glass dome that I've got her in. I've kept her in there as well because it's nice to keep her set up but also I don't have to keep like dusting it or anything. I just go dust the dome, not the actual statue and the individual leaves which would be a bit of a pain. It's better to keep it nice and clean if you can. So that's what I've done here. Um, I did put my little back dish back because I just love him um, and I use him quite a lot on this table. I've got my astrology skull um, which is pretty much always on this table anyway. Um, and I do have like sort of like my main altar space is over across the room but I wanted one especially for Gaia for this time of year because you know it's this time of year that like you know the earth is abundant and starting to provide lots of animals and flowers and foods and things um, and I wanted to show my gratitude for that um, so yeah here I'm setting up the uh, flowers I did get some little fairy lights as well, which I've got, which are little stars, which I thought looked quite nice, quite sort of, I don't know, almost magical or something. Um, but at this stage of the video, I'm actually just untangling them. So I'll come back when I've untangled them. Okay, so I finally got my um, lights untangled. Um, the way they packaged these was really, really naff. And what I'm doing now is making sure that they wrap around the base of where the Gaia display is. I also want them to sort of glow in between the petals of the flowers. Um, so here I'm just wrapping them around. They wrapped around three times or well, two and a two and two thirds. Um, so that was plenty for what I wanted. So I was quite surprised these had a good length on them. I think I got these off Amazon if I remember right. Um, I'm sure it is. And then just hid the battery pack behind the um, astrology skull. And it just makes it look like a nice, bright, delicate display and really makes um, the Gaia statue stand out. Um, so I'm going to leave this, um, obviously, all to set up. up. This will pretty much be um, <coughs> spring and summer. And I'll always have Gaia on display anyway, but for this particular altar space display place, I'm definitely going to have Gaia up for um, spring and summer. Um, so, yeah, you'll see a lot more of her. I'll just change around what's around her. Because, like, in the summer, I tend to use sunflowers on my altar space. 
um because to me they represent summer more um but yeah so this is my little setup my little display for earth day um and i'll add a couple of things for beltane as well when, when it comes up to beltane um so i'll show you what i've i'll talk about what i've put on display Hi everyone, you'll have to excuse this slightly funny angle because it's where my tripod's mounted to the wall. But I've got my Gaia altar set up for Earth Day. And I've got a few of my favourite things. So I've got my Gaia statue and the dome, glass dome that I set her up in with lots of foliage and moss and some crystals in this bottom. I've got my little rose garland going around and some stars. This I found on a beach and it doesn't look like much, but when you go like up close, where is it? I'm just trying to find one that shows up really well. It's full of fossils basically. So like there's little pieces of like seashell and stuff in so that there's a bit and there's like some sort of bits of shell and stuff in there see so yeah, it doesn't look like much but i found it on the beach and when you magnify it it's got loads of little fossils and things in it so i kept it i actually like that view so i'm gonna have it that way um, I just like it because it's a big, big rock. It's a bit funky. I've got my gemstones that I found at the pet store. Um, just because I really like them. I've got this that I've found in my garden. Which is a stone with a hollow bit inside. Then I've got my little piece of... Labradorite, I'm just going to see if I can get it so it catches the light. Can you see the light catching it there? Just about. When the light catches it properly, it glows beautifully. And for some reason, all I've, I've wanted to put my Labradorite on here. So I've put it on. Got my astrology school that's always there. And my little bat dish, which puts random things in. Um... So I've got those set up. Then for when it's Beltane, I'll keep the same sort of uh, setup. But I'll add my little maypole that I made last year. So that's going to go up there for Beltane. Um, and I'll probably add some more candles and things for Beltane. That's the plan anyway. So that's what I've put up so far um, and it's on this altar cloth I got which is a pentagram and as you can see this is what it looks like in slightly lower light see if I can make it a bit brighter I've added the little stars because it, it's nice to have something glowing and lighting up but I don't necessarily want to have a load of candles on because um, candles don't do me fantastic for my asthma or anything so I try to try and avoid too many candles I can have incense on but just for short bursts so I will put some incense on in fact I'll go and get some some lovely dragon's blood incense let's get that lit there we 
bigger and I could normally wedge it somewhere in on my rock A wedge in today. Oop. No, you don't want to today. There you go, that's my um, altar set up for Earth Day to obviously celebrate the Earth Goddess Gaia and just to celebrate the wonderful planet we live on that provides everything we need um, and keeps us safe and we need to protect the Earth more um, and do what we can to help protect the Earth. Um, so yeah, hope you like this video, blessed be, and bye for now.